Chronic migraine impacts a lot of people, about 3.2 million Americans, yet many people don't know they have it. It's estimated as many as 80% of sufferers haven't received an accurate diagnosis. There's a new tool available to help patients better communicate their symptoms. Here to tell us about it, Dr. Susan Broner, the medical director of the Manhattan Headache Clinic in New York. Beth Badalino is a registered nurse and the CEO of Healthy Women. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. Uh, with chronic migraine, um, I'm wondering if you would lay out some of the more common symptoms that our viewers should look out for. Yes, well, chronic migraine itself refers to people who have migraine who are getting headaches 15 days per month or more, of which eight of those are migraine. So it means they're not only having the severe strong migraines or even moderate migraines eight times a month, but they're getting some other headaches as well mm -hmm. for at least half the days of the month. And they're experiencing the symptoms that all migraine sufferers symptom, suffer. Um, they are getting moderate to severe head pain. Sometimes they're extremely disabling. Sometimes they're just tough enough to or strong enough to wipe them out or mm -hmm. other times they are just trying to work through them. People can get light and sound sensitivity or nausea and sometimes people even throw up and the attacks mm -hmm. are long lasting at least four hours and sometimes up to three days. Uh, and as you mentioned some people get neurological symptoms with it like some people can't see well or they can get loss of vision or see sparkling lights. Some people even don't speak properly or have numbness or weakness or even vertigo during the attack. Uh, and I'll tell you, I have suffered from migraines for several years now, and so it's hard for me to imagine that people can go um, misdiagnosed or undiagnosed. So why is that? It's, it is really remarkable, but I think it's because migraine is a spectrum of a disorder, meaning some people have more moderate symptoms and mm -hmm. some people have more severe symptoms. And a lot of people are just uninformed about what the diagnosis of migraine is. So that's why we're hoping here to educate people about what migraine is, what chronic migraine is, mm -hmm. to give them the tools to, one, get the proper diagnosis and then get appropriate treatment. Beth, let's get to you and this new initiative. Um, tell us why you wanted to be part of it at Healthy Women. Well, HealthyWomen.org is a organ national women's health organization that addresses all women's health and wellness conditions. And migraines actually affect women th uh, three times more than men. Um, while it affects both men and women, it clearly you know, is a women's health concern. And what we've wanted to do is really raise awareness about the signs and symptoms, but more importantly, give people the tools to have that conversation with their health healthcare provider and get a proper diagnosis. We've created several great resources on mychronicmigraine.com as well as healthywomen.org slash um, chronic migraine center, which really help um, people understand what chronic migraines are, what the triggers are, um, and then there's even an area where real people share their stories. Um, and we've got a great, great resource where you can plug in your zip code and find a headache specialist specialist in your geographic area um, where you can go in and then hopefully get that diagnosis. Um, we know that migraine, while it affects the patient, chronic migraine affects the patient, it also has an impact on their friends and family. Mm -hmm. In a recent survey that we did of nearly 1,000 men and women, we found that chronic migraine is making you miss social um, time, social um, functions and dates with your significant other. Um, it's also impacting family outings and activities, even your vacation. We found that one in five people that responded to the survey ended up canceling their family um, annual vacation. Mm -hmm. So it does not only affect the, the person suffering with uh, migraine, chronic migraine, but it also affects your family and friends. So if you suffer from migraine or know a family or friend that's suffering from migraine or what could be chronic migraine, please make sure you give them our tools and resources at mychronicmigraine.com or healthywomen.org slash chronic migraine center. Comprehensive site. Uh, I was there yesterday checking it out. Good to see a lot of those tools and resources online. Right. Um, we're out of time. Dr. Broner and Beth, thank you both for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks.